Hello, good morning. My thought for the day. On a sombre note, sadly, a young couple, maybe boy and girlfriend, riding their motorbike in Bawong last night. Again, unfortunately, drunk at the time. Got hit by a car and fell off the bike, both of them only to be run over again by a van following. Both unfortunately died at the scene. It's a very poignant reminder that to ride or to drive on the roads here in the Philippines can be somewhat putting one's life in danger. Now having said that, remembering whoever is driving is also helping to put our lives in uh, jeopardy too. So, so many foreigners, of course, trying to relive their young youth times, driving their free, easy rider motorbike down the road. Some of them go to the extent of buying a half a million peso, great big Yamahas or Hondas, thousands of CCs, which is totally okay in the West, but in here, in Asia, and especially here in the Philippines, a bike of that size is absolutely pointless because the roads don't match the performance of the bike. You can be driving along at maybe even 40k and suddenly a, a dog comes from nowhere or you go around the corner and there's a carabao being led across the road by a farmer. No room to stop, because to stop would be to go off the road. But it's a very common occurrence here. Foreigners go out and they get talked into the idea of buying a motorbike for themselves, for their girlfriend, probably encouraged by the girlfriend too. Now, of course, she will understand exactly how to drive it. She has no fear. She lives here all her life. She probably knows friends who've died on the road too. It makes no difference to a Filipina. That's just life. But for us foreigners, to have a motorbike is a great idea. But unfortunately, it's like, like Jane says, it's a coffin on wheels. It's just waiting to be used. And here in Nagilian, in La Union, just only less than 800 kilometers, uh, millimeter, sorry, meters from the house, there have been numerous people killed on that bridge going into Nagilian, on the what I call the blind bend. Yes, it has pretty Lines on the road says no overtaking, but they still do. They drive at 80 to 100 k when the speed limit is 40. But you can't tell them this. Nine times out of ten, they've had a few, and sadly, they lose their lives. And for foreigners to go out and buy a motorbike is sometimes risking your own life and others around you. And I would suggest that it's probably rather foolish to be doing that here. Even out in the provinces, you can be riding along completely oblivious to everything. And there are many foreigners who have motorbikes, but you ask them how many times they've come off or how many accidents they've had. Just remember, if you injure somebody else, you pay for their recovery and repairs too. So it's not really quite like it is where you admit no liability and the other person pays, hopefully, on their insurance. Because most people don't have insurance here. They barely have third party. And if you read between the lines and understand what that really does cover, and if, in fact, ever they pay out, you would not bother with it anyway. In fact, the safest way is to have a vehicle, a good solid vehicle, and have a driver 
who's familiar with the roads and just hope he gets you from point A to point B without an incident. But the other thing that is mentioned quite a lot here is driving licenses. There's a very conflicting point of view. I've gone to three uh, LTOs, which is where you get your driver's license. And since the last president, Duterte, came into power, he changed the law where you, a foreigner cannot ch exchange his driver's license, his foreign license, whatever kind, for a Filipino license unless he has at least a 12-month visa on his passport. You cannot get them on a tourist visa. You, even if you're renewing it, you must still ensure that you don't drive over 90 days because otherwise you risk a 10,000 peso fine. So just be aware, an international driving license is still only valid and recognized here in the Philippines. And it clearly says that in the road rules here. You cannot drive on an international driver's license unless you have 90 days only to use it. Because for the rest of the period of the year, it's not valid. Even though everywhere else or a lot of places around the world will accept that if your current license is valid, your international license will suffice for 12 months from the time you arrive. So please double check and ask the boss, not just the girl behind the counter, because not always do they have all that information and you're being misled for a 10,000 peso fine if the policeman or the LTO man had an argument with his wife that morning and he's going to insist on giving you a ticket for 10,000 pesos. It might not seem much, but it's another little notch against you. You've done something wrong, so be careful. Anyway, thought for the day, not much, but hopefully it will remind a few that it is a very, very dangerous on the roads here in the Philippines. Have a good day. Thumbs up, subscribe, notification button. And thank you very much for all the new subscribers and keep it on, keep it coming on. Bye now.